Okay, foiling is the most important part. To me, I make this ugly piece of furniture look so gorgeous. Right now, I'm doing the inside of the beams. And that's going to be so reflective. It just... Uh, Easy, easy process. I try to cut these into links a little bit closer to where they're going to actually be. Let's see, just press it on lightly. Very simple. thing I do is try to measure out how long of a piece I need. And I like it to be continuous instead of stopping at every corner. So I just say I cut the piece first. A little, a little bit extra long, not much. And if you know much about this tape, you've got to start it first by peeling back the corner here. this. And what I do is I peel back about six inches and I have a set line on my work. So I start it and try to line it up a little bit. Just like wallpaper you set, a, you make a line. And now look, I project over here and then I grab that piece off the back. If you remember I'm peeling that off. So I'm really close to where I'm going and I just get a very professional look this way. Too bad wallpaper couldn't be this easy. But right now I'm just tagging it on and I do the same thing here. Look, I project it over here on my line that I've got. This is two inch foil tape. I'm going to do all my model stands so they look very futuristic like this. Same thing here. Look, I've got the little pencil line. And I just pull the backing off. You can see how easy this is and how professional looking it's going to be. Same here. I walk around the corner and... To end it, I like to end it where I'm hiding my foil mark right in that corner there. So just like that. There. Real simple. Thank you very much. these two done. Look at, look at how beautiful the stands are, how they fit together, and how beautiful the lighting is. Thanks for watching.